Parents, have you been wondering how in the world are you going to get your teenager off the couch this summer? Well, a local teen may have the answer for you. That's right, Tina. It's an ins inspirational story involving a high school student, a class project, and flowers. And he's even making money on it. Dave Arnold has the story live on 5. We're doing boutonnieres for like 85 kids. Will Lynch has his fellow classmates from University School in Shaker Heights in this basement of blooms. This client wants purplies and yellows. Got a lot of good, loyal customers. It's his parents' Pepper Pike basement, and yes, these are teenagers actually working, though with sharp knives. Hammer it. Cut it and hammer it. This is serious business. Will runs a tight ship, steered on a course of his own design. I started uh, putting little arrangements in local stores and businesses with business cards by them, and people would take them and. Then I'd do stuff for, you know, their events, and then they'd give business cards to their friends and stuff, and word of mouth just grew. Growing this startup business from the ripe old age of 14, Lynch, now 16, has eight paid employees. It's fun to work here, too. The basement's a cool place to work, literally, but they say so is their boss. I think Will, as well as everyone else who works here, likes to kind of make everything look great because it's almost like we challenge each other to work harder. Jackson Pollock is Will's employee with the most seniority, making up arrangements daily from $50 to $350 if it's a small job. His young boss is part teacher, part mentor. I've learned a lot about flowers, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and he's taught me a lot how to design and how things look good. He likes everything tight. Charlie's, um, he's going to be here. They're both going to be here in like okay. 10 minutes. Okay. From high-end country club arrangements to funerals, Will Lynch has also donated his work for a 500-person fundraiser. Seems like it's, I've always been doing this, yeah. It's awesome. I love it. Live on 5 in Pepper Pike, I'm Dave Arnold. Yeah, pretty impressive. Will said when he started buying his flowers, wholesalers said he had to get a license to purchase them. So incorporating his business, he now gets top-end flowers from Holland delivered right to his door. Will's Lynch Designs also donated more than $3,500 worth of flowers to a therapeutic farm community in Mesopotamia. Very enterprising young man.